Hey guys, it's Blake Homie, and today I'm going to be doing a video all about my piercings because I haven't done one in a while and I have some new piercings. I don't know, I think I do. But anyways, I'm going to try and go in order of when I got my piercings, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember when I got all of them. But let's go ahead and start this. So my first piercing was a nostril piercing, which I've actually pierced both of my nostrils like in total about five times not both of them together but like each nostril um i first got a nose piercing when i was 12 and i had like begged my mom to let me get one and i was just like please it doesn't look trashy i promise it's gonna be the cutest thing in the world and then she kind of like gave in and she was like okay i guess it'll be cute but no more piercings after this none none whatsoever no <laughs> and then after that i got my septum piercing and it did not hurt at all let me let me backtrack for a second so my nostril piercing a lot of people ask me about the pain of that and mine didn't hurt at all it just kind of stung and then it like you know made me cry a bit but not because it hurt on a scale of one to ten i'd say it's like one and a half maybe two but anyways my septum piercing i did that in my closet i don't know why i did it in my closet i think i was just scared of someone coming in my room and being like bro what the fuck is going on and i was gonna try and hide it from my mom by flipping it up but uh, the jewelry was way too big and I couldn't flip it up. And so that was terrible. And I got like asked to take it out at school a lot. And I was like, I can't take it out. I can't do it. <laughs> my piercing, my septum piercing only hurt about like a one out of 10. I don't think it hurt at all. I could just hear that shit tearing. And I, it was like, Ugh. but I got through it. And then, I'm not sure when I did this piercing right here. I don't remember at all, but this is one of the ones that hurt like a four or maybe even a five. And I had to actually take it out and then because it was giving me so many troubles and then I ended up piercing it again. And the second time I did it, it didn't, you know, it wasn't bad at all, but I actually don't really recommend ear piercings cause they're so hit or miss. Like. They don't really hurt and they're easy to do and they're fun to do but you can't sleep on your ear like they afterwards it hurts way more and you can never sleep on your ear again and like if you if you really want an ear piercing go for it but it's just one of the most terrible piercings ever so my next piercing i think was this lip piercing but I ended up taking that one out because I was just like, it doesn't look good on that side. And then I got bored and I was like, it would look so good in the middle. And I lost the ball on this one and I need to get a new ball, but I'm too lazy to go through all my shit because I'm not even sure if I'll find a good ball. But yeah, this one didn't hurt that much. I think it was a one too. None of my piercings really hurt like that bad at all. But... The healing, it was so swollen for like the first three or four days and I couldn't really eat. But once the swelling went down, it was like pretty good smooth sailing from there. And then my nipple piercings, which I'm not gonna show you because I'm underage and I wouldn't wanna show you anyways. Uh, everyone always asked about those. Those hurt like a nine out of 10. It was one of the, the worst pain I'd ever experienced. And this, the healing for me was like pretty amazing. Like my nipples were kind to me. Everyone's always complaining about how the healing process takes forever. But mine probably took like a month and a half to two months to get fully healed. And they never really got crusties or anything. Last but not least, my bridge piercing, which this one I pierced at I think eight months ago or something. I can't really remember. But that one didn't hurt at all. Everyone's like, but you squeezed your eyes in the video. I was just squeezing my eyes because that's how I get through piercing. I'm just like, you know, it makes it, you have way much less anxiety when you close your eyes and do it. But then you'll never know if you actually get it straight. But anyways, this one, 
took so long to heal like it only now started healing up completely like about a month ago but it used to get infected all the time even though i would clean it but it's been doing really good lately and it hasn't been getting any keloids but it got a few keloids during the healing process i don't know what happened but it would be like okay for a while and then like after a week or two it would just like get a keloid be oozy and shit and gross and it was like so embarrassing because when i took pictures you could just see that bump but now i'm pretty sure it's like all the way healed because it hasn't gotten infected in a long time if it would have kept on getting infected that would have sucked and i probably would have had to take that out because when i pierced my belly button that one got like way too infected it started rejecting and i had to take that out those are all of my piercings thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video